Uh, so hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to look at uh, essentially wealth in Brazil um, and for that matter uh, a lot of Latin America um, and I'm not really even sure how to go about doing this but uh, I do have a bunch of different graphs, a bunch of different maps uh, kind of showing and essentially um, it boils down to this region here um, which is basically over here is like Sao Paulo kind of see I think that's St. Paul right there you can kind of see just above that and then Rio being right around over in there um, but basically uh, those are two of the largest cities in all of Latin America um, you can kind of see some population there you can kind of see a little Argentina there with Buenos Aires and so on um, but uh, most of the wealth and most of the people um, live in Brazil so I just wanted to focus on Brazil um, and uh, so we want to kind of look at a graph to start with here and let me just transition um, so right here we're basically looking at uh, GDP per capita for the entire world uh, so to kind of put uh, South America in perspective here right so um, and I think these numbers are probably way wrong um, there's a recent problem in Argentina with their currency that I'm aware of um, but this is 2016 um, and uh, you can see Uruguay and Chile and these basically with a GDP per capita of about 35 to 50,000 um, and then Brazil um, maybe actually it looks like they could be at uh, 20 to 35 or even 10 to 20,000 um, so uh, but basically you can kind of see how they fit in with the rest of the world kind of similar to South Africa here a couple interesting countries here um, and kind of uh, you know like Iran North Africa and China so um, and even uh, here in uh, Asia so uh, to just kind of get an overview here so basically I have a bunch of different graphs here this is showing total wealth so this is per person, so you have to kind of take the total wealth and divide that by per person. But if you just think about total wealth, um, you can kind of see that uh, basically Brazil is uh, very different, right? So in terms of total wealth, Brazil has a lot of the total wealth of South America and uh, essentially not much wealth at all in Africa, sadly. Um, and then um, Middle East and then heading up into here and even Mongolia and kind of interesting to see Thailand you know Thailand here having so much wealth um, even more so than Vietnam and the rest of the area um, and here of course Indonesia with a lot of people um, and India being uh, just about uh, like maybe just even slightly more than uh, um, Canada there but anyway so but Latin America, very highly biased towards uh, Brazil. So I kind of did some of my own stats here. Uh, so you kind of see that this is Latin America's chunk of the total wealth. Um, so it's really surprising. Um, when you look at this, you can kind of see that. Um, but this puts it in a pretty simple terms. So you can see Latin America, maybe twice of Africa, um, which again is pretty sad when you look at the map here. You know, this is... Africa is just ginormous, um, but there's a lot of desert here in North Africa, obviously. So uh, let me just transition back so you can kind of see, um, you know, Latin America. You know, there's a big chunk here, though, that uh, it's basically the Amazon. And uh, uh, it's kind of scary because there's probably a lot of wealth here. But uh, at the same time, it's not really for humans. It's for jungle. So... Uh, but going back, you can kind of see. So North America, actually behind Asia, uh, significantly, I would say. Um, and you can kind of see this. Uh, uh, this would be in trillions of dollars. So uh, total wealth being about 10 trillion and maybe or 100 trillion and then maybe almost 150 trillion. So and this is kind of the, the top 30. So you can kind of see. Uh, United States, China, Japan. So this is a really important one to know. Japan, 
and then you can see Germany, France, and a lot of Europe kind of here. And India pulling in here. And then Brazil kind of falling in right about in this sliver, right? So, so actually, Russia, you'd say, is pretty far behind because it's quite large. Um, but anyway, um, and I think here's like a graph showing that same thing. And a logarithmic graph, so you can kind of see, it's a little hard to see some of these details. So you can see there's kind of like these countries here. So like Japan, almost making it up to China. Um, and um, so, I mean, Japan is just not that big, right? And yet it's it's doing just a huge amount of economic uh, work there. So. This is Brazil right in here, and you basically see nobody else in Latin America, right? Only Brazil. So that was one of the reasons that I wanted to look at Brazil carefully. Uh, and we're going to get into some of the details here um, for Brazil. But uh, but basically everyone else, you can kind of see, um, you know, these are just the top 30 or so. Um, and there's a kind of a list here to see all these different ones and I don't even think I have a log graph of it but anyway but you can kind of see that here and really the regional graph is perhaps the best way to try to understand what's going on um, just with Asia North America Europe and all of South America so anyway we're gonna get into all the details here in a second uh, so next here's kind of another map this is by the World Bank um, they do a pretty good job, obviously, but uh, there's some problems too. Um, but you can kind of see the details. So basically, Brazil here and then Bolivia, kind of the struggling one in South America, um, and then even these guys. So Uruguay doing pretty good in Chile. And uh, I've been to Uruguay, so you can kind of, my personal feeling is that, uh, you, you know, these numbers are probably wrong. I mean, basically, Rio and Sao Paulo is just ginormous city and Montevideo is big but it's just not I don't know it's hard to believe that uh, you know this is like per capita or something so anyway um, and this is where I got the data from it's just a list of countries by total wealth and there's just a ton of data here that you can try graphing yourself if you'd like and uh, some maps uh, probably the map is a little bit better on a different page here. This is the list of countries by GDP per capita. So, But if you want to get that yourself, you can do that. So let's just jump into Brazil here. So this, apparently, this is the capital of Brasilia, um, if you're unfamiliar. And this is Sao Paulo. So this seems to be happening in other countries, too, where the capital, like in New Delhi, they're making a little bit more than say in Mumbai. So, and then this is Rio here and Sao Paulo up in here somewhere. So, uh, but basically you can see a couple different locations being a little bit more poor. And this is actually quite surprising to me personally, um, seeing these as more poverty or whatnot. And, but I'm not even sure what uh, the numbers are, but you can basically see um, actually, I think these are maybe higher, but anyway, so, uh, but, uh, you know, some interesting things about Brazil would basically be in here and comparing that with uh, Rio and whatnot, but these numbers, who knows if they're actually accurate. This one might actually be, be easier to understand, so you can kind of see this shows, last one showed that uh, this might be per capita, so the other one was just, uh, they both say per capita, so... Again, it might be different years, but this shows Rio being more than uh, Sao Paulo. Um, so, debatable. And you can kind of see this little sliver in here being some wealth in there where you don't see it in this one. So, it's it's a debate, you know, like what's going on. So, uh, and it's really hard to get the ex actual numbers in, a, in great detail. So, this was one of the only ones I could found and we're gonna try to study this um so this is rio and i'm gonna transition back to the map 
and we're just gonna try to zoom in here so um, so basically here we are zooming in so you can kind of see Sao Paulo and Rio and these other big cities and there's Brasilia showing up way over there and uh, so on these maps we are going to go into looking in detail in Sao Paulo but I just wanted to start in Rio because it's more fun and um, interesting so and I've been to Rio I've been to Sao Paulo thank god it's been interesting um, but you can basically see this so obviously there's a lot of people that live back in here so and there's a lot of people that live over here and this may all change there's even a new construction spot and maybe some farmland out here and some other things um, but uh, most of Rio that a lot of people are familiar with here says Copacabana, Ipanema anyway uh, different uh, different places and probably central downtown Rio here but you can kind of see it, it actually gets quite spectacularly beautiful in here you can start to see some of these mountains and uh, pretty big hills so so the question is what's going on here and where is the wealth so um, it's uh, it's it's kind of a debate right so I'm gonna transition back here to this other window and uh, it is pretty hard to see this fortunately but uh, so you can say they have high income in dark here and then medium income and then kind of a medium color and then low and light and then where they don't know it's just kind of white so all along in here is so basically the peak of the wealth you can kind of say is all in this area and then even back through here so the surprising part to me would be this area back in through here and then this spot and then particularly this spot so there's just so much to look at on these details and to try to find these areas but um you know i mean to be honest i feel like this area is just so far from downtown so this is downtown and you kind of see and and i think a lot of this has changed so this is like 2003 and um you know just looking at the downtown I've noticed there's certainly very cool spots to live at right near downtown and some of the wealth may not be very easily to be statistified so but uh, let's let's just start by looking at this kind of chunk in here because I'm most familiar with this I actually lived over here by Flamingo I just liked it because it was close to downtown it didn't seem super wealthy to me but um, you know I was coming from San Francisco at the time and I don't know even San Francisco didn't seem that wealthy but actually it seemed wealthier than San Francisco in a lot of ways um, but uh, let's let's talk about all these areas hopefully in detail uh, in a moment so essentially what we're trying to do here is understand um, essentially how this map fits with the actual map um, and uh, basically, we are trying to find this kind of area in there. So we're going to go and uh, take a look at that. Um, so that area is essentially this sliver in through here. Kind of gets in that area. And then kind of tucks in through here. It gets it's just a it's just a big area but you know essentially the um, there's like along the beach front so <clears throat> one thought here is that um, <clears throat> you know as you get in further to the bay air quality is less good um, and also muck of the bay becomes more significant so basically we just want to look what it looks like along in here so <clears throat> There's uh, quite, and uh, actually it kind of, some of this uh, area, it's kind of doesn't really even show up on the other map, but anyway, so you can kind of see there, 
what this area is. So this is basically downtown and the rest of suburban Rio is heading back into here. There's some train line that runs out there. I think there's also like a subway that runs through here <clears throat> and they've been working on that for decades. Um, but uh, you can kind of see these mountain ranges in here too, which is kind of cool to see. Um, but uh, yeah, and I, I was just shocked. Um, I, I don't even know if I should say this, but um, yeah, I mean, there's uh, apartments that you can get, kind of condos, unbelievable costs. I don't even want to say, um, but uh, yeah, so this is pretty close to uh, downtown Rio. Uh, so I think what's going on here is that um, this is probably a priority space for people that are living and working in near downtown. But there's this kind of like second area. Um, I didn't even know about this or even this area um, that is, well, says high income. Um, so I just want to look at that uh, just to see because it's an interesting alternative to just more suburban Rio. So this is pretty flat back in here and boring. There is some wealth in here, um, but it looks like if you're a little bit smarter, you kind of want to be in this area. So let's go find this area right here, um, just as a new interesting area, because I know there's these big mountain range. It's probably like right in here. So we're going to see these big mountains here on either side where it's like totally white. Um, but this area we definitely should know about, and I just wanted to like look at it carefully. Okay, so again, we're gonna try to find this area. And we're gonna see this area here and what we're talking about. So it's a little hard to see exactly. So I'm gonna transition here. So what I'm thinking is that that south area, so basically here's downtown, right? And connected to downtown is kind of this little area in through here that has a little bit of a spot and this is kind of Santa Teresa uh, that's probably not the right name for it but anyway uh, let's just see so this yeah Santa Teresa so this is technically the top of Santa Teresa but there's this whole area so I think a lot of people like if you want a house like so this is all like skyscrapers in here right so there's little houses in here. So let's just go back to the other view. So again, what we're trying to find is where is this area and how do we find this area and this. So this area is a little bit different than this area. Um, and the type of living would just be different, right? So there's this is all beachfront, but this is kind of up in the hills. Uh, it's certainly harder to get down to work um, in downtown. They have a little tram. Certainly isn't adequate to get you downtown, but if there's like 30 or 40 people at a time, they can go on this thing. So, but, uh, you know, for working from home or doing different types of cool and interesting work, <laughs> and it's relatively safe. Um, but anyway, so let's try to find that again. So again kind of hard to find so there is there's this whole kind of like this wealthy region which should be comparable to this guy right here so this this is downtown Rio right in here and we're looking for this kind of area so we just want to go in and see those kind of houses so it's kind of more apparent that this big mountain here is kind of the perhaps the attraction but as you get into downtown it looks totally different than on the map so let's try to make sense of this with the map again I'm gonna transition back just so you can see so again that peak is probably this guy in here 
and this is the downtown and we can kind of see downtown there transition again so you can kind of see so basically the downtown and kind of uh, man it's just hard to see this even I'm kind of confused on this I'll transition back so you can see it's just it's just really hard to say so it's like this it's like this area comes in here right so there's like this whole bay area <coughs> anyway so obviously you can see that I'm even strong so there's kind of like a little bit of poverty area here it shows on the map and then it gets to some wealth in here and for some reason it shows it all the way across so maybe something in there but uh, let's let's try to get in here on this so I'm pretty sure that that's the spot so it just felt like something was different this is a really interesting area so yeah so basically it's Santa Teresa you see this little marker right there and it's really hard to describe Santa Teresa you know it, 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 it it's really this is this is like Lapa area so you can see they got this it might even say Lapa right so Lapa and it's just at the foothills but this says it's the center of Santa Teresa and I I don't know I remember it being somewhere else I'm not gonna say where I feel it is but there's you know there's there's this thing here I think that's like the tram so technically I think a lot of people would argue that it's where the tram is like so you take the tram and maybe a few blocks up and some other things so but there is some wealthy little houses in here so and to be honest there's a really interesting little walkway in here and I can't even find it right now but this whole area <clears throat> um, this whole area is pretty well to do because it's so close to downtown and uh, this is a church here kind of see Bank of Brazilian Bank sign um, <clears throat> so uh, yeah this makes sense we found the bank um, but uh, and kind of like nice little park right along the way uh, edge here so uh, and certainly there's probably some residential housing downtown too but it, it's I'm not that familiar and these maps I mean what, what we're looking at here is not really gonna tell us I wish it had more detail but it just doesn't so basically that was that spot so it's certainly I would say there's there's a lot more to this area so you know this is actually <clears throat> the part that I'm most interested in because if you look at what's going on with the suburban sprawl, this is suburbia, right? And so these guys are really what suburbia should be up here in Santa Teresa, right? And it's one of the modern problems in Brazil is to get everybody living in great housing. And when you have this like really flat land, it's almost floodplain, who knows what's going to happen with ocean rising and all that it's just this this is all got to change so we could study this in great detail and see where the various sections of wealth are and it looked like it was kind of in here on that map um <clears throat> but uh, certainly one of the things that might be interesting to look at is seeing how you can find cool little wealthy spots next to these big mountains you can see there's kind of that's what makes Rio special is these mountains there's even this mountain range back in there you can see not a whole lot of people living there and even Niteroi which I've thought about even hey man forget Rio just head over to the beach over in this way or in here probably a lot cheaper and a lot better but maybe I just ruined it for myself and everyone will move there but uh, but uh, certainly there's a whole other side of Rio down in here and we don't really have the demographics or money maps for that and I've probably really gone over this too much already but 
But basically, that's one of the things. So let me just stop this stream for a second. So this isn't maybe your typical wealth map, but you can kind of see commute times here. And I was just really shocked. You can kind of see um, a lot of people live in way out here have some of the best commute times or the people right in here and so on. And a lot of the people actually living on the beach have some of the worst commute times. So this is like over an hour or even more, right? So certainly one of the problems is that these guys have the worst commute time. And that was essentially all of this out here. And there is a train that runs in, but I imagine it just is a nightmare. It probably stops all on the way to pick up people. And who knows if they have an express route or even multiple tracks so they can have run one express and one slow. But uh, where do you put the businesses, modern business, maybe right in here? I, I, I don't even know, um, to kind of compromise with the downtown and uh, I have a friend that lives back in here, and that's pretty interesting that she lives over there. Um, but, uh, you know, that's pretty much the only option. Um, or possibly doing something here, like they put the airport in. There's actually two airports, right? So there's, uh, I can't even see it right now, but, oh, yeah, there it is. That airport, and then this much larger, looks like a much larger airport. So... But uh, it does kind of give us an idea. Just let me transition back here. So the commute times can help us a little bit understand poverty in terms of headache of commute. And this is kind of just, you can kind of see, I, I, I don't know, I just like this map because it showed kind of uh, this whole area being higher income. And I, I don't know if I really believe it, but certainly there's a lot of other people. They built a lot of Olympic kind of buildings down in there. Um, and I think I'm gonna go over to St. Paul in a second. So, uh, but basically let's just take a last look at Rio here. So, you know, you can kind of imagine like, where is it wealthy? You know, you know the downtown's here, but you know, there's all this beachfront here. Uh, okay, so if you're living on the beach, what's the trade off? You gotta get to work, it's hard. It's downtown and where are the new businesses? And, um, you know, these kind of things. And it, and it doesn't really show you how many skyscrapers are in here along the beach. But as it blows in here, you can kind of see there's just tons, tons and tons of housing. So, but that's not a lot of businesses. But there are probably businesses on some of these floors in some of these big buildings. Um, so, you know, maybe say they did try to do that. But honestly, I don't remember it being that way. Um, you know, it's, it's just the beach unfortunately isn't that great in Rio in my opinion a lot of people would really disagree with me on that but you know th this kind of beach is a little more interesting this is just a long flat beach you got better beach over there and even this whole lake this this really surprised me the lake and there's just a whole kind of subculture it's kind of quiet and peaceful around this lake um, it's just kind of different than, than the rest of me Friend of, friend of ours had a little apartment on the beach or on the lake here. It's just, it's kind of surreal, this lake. Um, but, uh, you know, there's there's just so much here and little nukes and crannies. And, and uh, that's what makes Rio great. So certainly a lot of people know Rio for the beach here and here, but that's also why this other map, Oh, I just looked at this thing. It's not recording my other thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, sorry about this. So, uh, but yeah, this, this area, uh, Tajuka, it's just a whole another, I don't know, it's, in a lot of ways it's like a new Rio, but, I mean, really it's probably where you should be, to be honest. I mean, this is, uh, <clears throat> anyway, so... <clears throat> Um, but, uh, there's a whole, just, you know, this, this whole thing goes back really far down into here. And some people say this is the most beautiful part, uh, Brazil. So, but, uh, as we zoom out, you can kind of see, we're going to go out to Sao Paulo next and look at, uh, wealth there. Um, I think I have a 
pretty good population map, I can. So this kind of shows you the population. It's not really the wealth, but you can see the population as we zoom out. So there's some Paulo, and I think I can even do this to make it show both the land and the people. So here you can kind of see, I mean, if wealth is just the people, you can kind of see, and let's just look at all of Latin America kind of compare so we're just looking at this area and man look at Buenos Aires huge um, but uh, in terms of population uh, to be honest my favorite areas are all up into here um, just because it's Caribbean and different but more mountains and stuff but you can kind of see the population Ah, bonus errors. Well, anyway, we could look at everything at some point, but uh, but yeah, so basically, but these are the two, a lot of people say most important, but anyway, we'll get into the details here. So um, here's kind of context. So you can see Brasilia here, um, which is the capital, and it's certainly a lot smaller in terms of population. But uh, a lot of the wealth has probably migrated out through here or even... Horizonte. So I'm not even sure what to say. Uh, this road, take the bus over to Rio. I've done that, I think, at least twice. And uh, I don't know. There's other there's other places besides Sao Paulo, but we're going to look at the wealth in Sao Paulo in detail. So uh, I'm going to turn off this uh, population. And we're going to go zoom in here to... Uh, Sao Paulo. So uh, I have this uh, shape file, uh, Sao Paulo.shp, and that kind of is the overlay here. So this is hopefully going to help us see this little map. So the best, <laughs> unbelievably, I, I couldn't find anything better than this. This is the income distribution map that we have. So uh, and this area here, this shape, is essentially Sao Paulo. There's a couple big lakes here. Um, and I think they've dammed these up. And there's a big a water company that I've invested in. In Sao Paulo, I think I've lost a little bit of money. I think I've gained a little bit of money. Anyway, um, this is where they're saying the employment opportunities are. Interestingly, you can see this big hole here. Um, and essentially, this guy... The center of their employment opportunities is like right in there. And we're going to try to find that spot first. Um, and it's basically probably just downtown Sao Paulo. But let's transition back to the map. So it's a little confusing. But this whole, that shape that you were looking at was this shape. Let's see if I can transition back. So you remember that shape there. That's that shape that we're essentially looking at here. So that's how we're gonna find this, this area. So remember there's that, there's this, so the easiest way to identify this, I'm gonna turn this off in a second here. So I've turned it off now, we're gonna get back to the, just Sao Paulo. And this river is kind of the key. So and I really remember this river. It was one of the first things I noticed when I flew into South America for the first time in my life was this river and it wasn't a very nice river it was a very small river and it looked like it needed to be a lot bigger and maybe that's just something I just didn't understand was this the damming system here and believe it or not in the state that I live in <clears throat> you're not allowed to dam any rivers it's illegal <clears throat> but there's a lot of hydroelectric power there the hard thing to understand is that so how does this, I mean, I guess there's this mountain range. So maybe a lot of this is draining off of this kind of, it's kind of a reverse river. So usually it, rain, it drains out towards the, uh, towards the ocean, but uh, they've dammed these rivers up. So this mountain range here. So let's, let's see if we can even kind of understand what's going on here. So is that, oh, maybe I'm totally wrong. So it actually is a plateau. And actually, it may have actually been. It may still drain this way. I don't know. So, uh, 
but yeah, so this this area, this is not even Sao Paulo, but this is Santos, and I remember going to Santos, but man, it was it just it, I, I don't these, these mountains maybe just dropped these cliffs dropped so quickly that I didn't even notice, didn't even remember them dropping there, but uh, but uh, but we're trying to find that little spot in Sao Paulo that's where the wealth is. So let's go back to that map really quick just to uh, see. So basically we got this area so there's like this kind of wealthy area in here and then a wealthy spot in here but then the main wealth being here so this river really hard to see but you can see kind of a bend you can kind of more see the rivers here right so it looks like they're blocked it's probably blocked there and there but you can see a little pocket of wealth there pocket of wealth there and then unusual pocket of wealth there so of these, let's start here, and then I think this one would be very interesting to look at, um, just because it's kind of an unusual spot, right? You can see, uh, wealthy there, and actually it shows opposite. So income is on one side of the river, but the wealth is on the other. So uh, maybe you can kind of see why it would be wealth would be here. Uh, there's two rivers, so you get more river on that side of the river. Um, but uh, let's try to find that spot. So I'm not even sure if I can zoom in. Huh. I wish I could zoom in. I think I probably can with the shift. Control shift. Oh, there we go. Oof. I'm really zoomed out. I lost everything. Uh -huh. Where are we? I don't even know. Sorry about this. I think it's right. Where is my ah? Here we go. So, uh, uh, yeah. So you can kind of start to see here this in a little more detail. Um, but uh, yeah. So it's, it, I, I wish we could get the original data, but this is the only researchgate.net is pretty good. But <clears throat> this spot right here, essentially, what we're looking for. So believe it or not, we gotta find that in this. So it's actually kind of already sort of found it. Um, but uh, so that's the river there. Let's let's look at this map transition really quick. So we're we're looking for a river piece going here, kind of a flat spot, and then a crick again, and then a turn. So this is the flat area I think that we were looking at there and it has this other weird spot so I've actually looked at this area before but it's a little I've actually looked at this spot but actually the data is saying that the wealth is right in in this spot so taking a little while to load up it's got a ton of buildings so the real question is that the companies that I was looking at were kind of, I think it was close to this park, but but the data from that, well, that's employment opportunities. So it's not the actual wealth map. So the actual wealth map is showing this section. So it's kind of hard. It kind of goes this flat piece. So it's kind of, just a little smidgen through here and then a gigantic portion and even this out into here so maybe that goes out towards the airport it's it's basically this area with a bias towards the right side and you can see why because there's like a park over here and I think I've been through these parks one park I mean there's there's just there's a park in Sao Paulo that, that basically makes Sao Paulo and I, and I believe it's probably this one um, it's just it's just unbelievable and hard to describe the trees there and it's got to be this park so my personal feeling is wow this is it I have seen Central Park and the kind of trees just when you see very very new trees that you've never seen before they're ginormous um, I saw a couple in Florida it's like these weird swamp trees All right, anyway so you can kind of see the 3d buildings loading up but there's an opportunity zone right here so let's just transition back to that map so 
what we're looking at here is this little dot but on this map is the actual income distribution so it's just opportunities don't quite match with income but <clears throat> I'm sure these guys looks like they got pretty fine detail so the other area we were trying to find is kind of like this spot which is like in between these two rivers so let's see if we can go find that one really quick so there was some kind of two river system I think it's right in there and actually they call this downtown Sao Paulo so and uh, maybe that's near the I don't know what airport is this what airport is that all right some other airport but uh, anyway if you fly into Sao Paulo yeah it's probably this one here it's that one yeah probably so but we're looking for this up here so anyway so there is a little bit of a two river system and we can kind of see that here let, let's just transition back so look at this again so this makes it look like this thing is really different and maybe that's the start and maybe this thing and man would it be cool to be closer to this water system so and i've heard some paul has ran out of water but uh, what we're trying to find is this spot and this spot so let's transition back and uh, it just looks totally different on the map here maybe i'm i twisted wrong or something i don't know um but uh yeah so it supposedly should be right in here and this is just a really wealthy spot for some reason i guess it makes sense it's like a private airport and I don't know how pollution would be. I'm just, I'm just zooming out to think about the mountain range. So this little spot is actually doing quite good. You can see the Wikipedia. And maybe this is kind of like <clears throat> a little park here too. It might have been one of these smaller parks. but um, And you can see that this is not a very big river, but certainly it's a very important river. And... Uh, Yes, yeah, so uh, you can see this name, Santa and Centro. Interesting, so they call this Centro. So maybe that's, uh, I don't know. So the data could be wrong. Um, <clears throat> so the data was suggesting that the wealth is more in this spot. Um, I think I remember this part. This was like a really cool part of the city. There's a lot of yeah 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 i totally remember this part the university is over here or something um but uh yeah so uh it's just it's hard it's it's a ginormous city so um but yeah i remember there's if you're looking for clothing businesses i remember there was like a couple streets over here anyway but um yeah so there is some wealth in here for some reason let's just go back to the bigger picture again so we are quite far from I guess this is like center of Sao Paulo and yet I don't know all the buildings anyway so transition here so again we do know about this area but now we let's just try to look at this spot this and this spot and this spot so this spot is probably a little more wealthier than this spot or this spot but the having these lakes here and just an escape route from Sao Paulo is a great thing because uh, it's a ginormous city and I could totally understand trying to get out of San Paulo so and you kind of see the opportunities have kind of drifted down towards this way too so and maybe some opportunities here but it kind of seems like it's all kind of man maybe San Paulo would just be flooded I don't know what's going on with these dams but anyway um, I, I really regret studying San Paulo to be honest but uh but yeah so we it's just let's let's look at this before we uh stop uh some power but so we'll we'll see so basically we got the two lakes so we got this lake and this lake that we saw on that other map right so let's just double check so we're looking for this spot so it's kind of like 
quite a bit ways, a little bit ways from that, and I'm in. So we got this way, this way. So it's kind of right in this spot, almost exactly that piece of the puzzle. So right in here is doing pretty well. And maybe you have to cruise on down this street to head in downtown for work. But, and I kind of like this area. Look at the size of the, look at these buildings, a lot of weird, different shapes of warehouses. So it's not like some parts of the world where you see warehouse after warehouse, even in like, I was gonna say San Jose. This looks a little bit uh, weirder and different, but this is kind of an interesting spot, right? So you got this river and it looks like a dam here and probably figure out which way it's dammed. It looks like it's blocking it here. And surprisingly, not a whole lot of construction right next to the uh, lot of houses, but then you can kind of see these big buildings coming in. So this area said it was pretty wealthy, but then all of a sudden you see these. Anyway, who knows how old that research is. It's, um, but, uh, but you can kind of see this brings up a whole new idea for <clears throat> Sao Paulo, right? So maybe downtown Sao Paulo, kind of in this area and heading along the river. It's certainly kind of a muckier lake, lake up in this way, but <clears throat> and probably blocked somewhere along here, but there's this dam and maybe that's going... Which way is that dam going? Anyway, so, uh, but, uh, but yeah, this whole kind of heading out, now this heads out to the ocean in Santos, right? So that's another reason why it would be important to take a look at what's going on here. And you can kind of see this mountain range dropping into the sea. And that might be even a serious fault line. Um, man, that's huge. It, I, I see remember seeing stuff in California but this fault line looks big so anyway and then just heading out into like a really flat land I remember Santos did not look like this but now I have a better picture of it but anyway I didn't really have access to this kind of great tool um, but uh, anyway so we kind of see here let's just transition again back to this map so We've kind of covered everything along the river here and kind of looked at here and here and then we were heading out to the ocean in Santos. Um, and certainly there's all kinds of little things to figure out. Why is it wealthy in certain areas? And this opportunity map is, I love this map, but who knows how accurate it is. I mean, anyway, it says opportunities there and and this little spot in here and so on. But uh, industrial zone. I, I think this had a lot of other data on it, but um, I think this shows vaguely the, the region. So there's kind of like this, this region and whatnot, but, and um, another kind of zoom in on this. This goes back to uh, Rio and I think uh, some race distribution map for Rio. But uh, so let's, let's, let's just take final look here so again there's a lot to study um believe it or not Sao Paulo is one of the largest cities in the world and one of the largest cities in South America so we just looked at essentially Rio and Sao Paulo and greater part of Brazil um where the wealthiest areas are so <clears throat> I mean there's there's a lot more to study um here um Certainly, I don't know. I, I just felt like bonus areas was too boring to look at. It's very flat in here, and I don't know. You know, it's 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 an other city, Montevideo. There's all kinds of places to, to look at, um, but it's just not the same. Santiago is maybe the closest that you could say to something like Sao Paulo. See, it's an in inside city there, but it's just a lot drier. It's mountain range, weird mountain range some problems that Sao Paulo doesn't have to deal with. Um, maybe even more of a serious water problem there. And then there's La Paz and Lima and Quinto and Bogota. But up in here, 
I mean, if you really look into look at the wealth maps that are really super interesting, certainly taking a look at uh, Colombia and kind of this Gulf of Venezuela here. There's another really interesting city here called Marasabo. Looking at that would be very worth the time. And Caracas is a little bit hard to, to take a look at because it's kind of on this side of the mountain range and you just wonder, whoa, what's the pollution like? It's just too hot near the ocean, I think. So a lot of people moved up into the mountains. Same kind of scenario for uh, like you know Bogota and Colombia you can see uh, this is th this is really interesting too Mendelin and I'm probably pronouncing these really wrong but this essentially is just too hot right so you're near the equator you're in the jungle I mean this is basically the equator here and uh, but uh, but but basically we've looked at uh, two very important cities um, and uh, it's just uh, a lot it's a it's a lot to look at everything and you know, it, it, you might even start with this population map, which we looked at here, and you can kind of see where these populated areas are. Um, and that really helps a lot. This is a separate temperature map, and I'm going to turn this off. And Oh, that's oh, this is Earth, Earth at night, sorry. So um, this is the night light, so you can kind of see. So we just looked at Sao Paulo. So yeah, bonus areas, but really Sao Paulo, there's a lot of, even in here, you can kind of see what was going on. So there's a lot of, just, it, it's huge. Sao Paulo was huge and it's, you know, the map is actually far more detailed on the uh, Earth at Night map. It's for somebody that just doesn't allow you to show it in great one, down to one kilometer. Um, but that's kind of hard, you know, when you're looking at city by city block, like what we were doing. So I'm gonna turn this off. What I was gonna show you is this last map. Um, but uh, this takes a little moment to load. Um, but <clears throat> what I would say is with this one, this is a climate map. And so you can kind of see, so, you know, basically one of the reasons that it's just too hot in the jungle, right? So this just gets to be unbearably hot. And that's why you have these little green pockets, which so essentially we looked at Rio and Sao Paulo, right? So. This is Sao Paulo and this is Rio. So you can kind of see Rio being a part of this, but it's, it's just nicer climate and it helps a lot. So that's a big deal when studying the wealth situation because um, if it's just too hot, you know, even the energy to run your air conditioners. So kind of see what's going on and maybe even add the uh, black marble. I don't know, can I turn this down? Yeah, so you can kind of see. So this is the Earth at night with the lights. And we can just see if we can add the population here too. And that's just about everything. So again, Sao Paulo was a huge, hugely important thing to check out. And same with Rio. But again, it, up in here, there's a lot of, this is this little city. I, I've been meaning to study this for a long time. But this city in here, certainly one of my favorite um, they actually get more lightning than anywhere else in the world on this May, Lake Maracibo, but it's probably just really hot. So uh, it's just it's just a different situation to study, and I hope you've enjoyed everything. Uh, let me know if you like to talk about things, you have suggestions on things, ways to map this better and look at it. Be interested. Hope it's helped. Ciao.